All right, so I got the information that I said that I will get this morning uh, about the different types of pay, like detention and layover. And I also got the information about the cams, the cameras that are being installed into uh, the front facing and front front facing and driver facing cams that are being installed in the uh, in the trucks. All right. And I will say again, I am not on a hand. I'm recording this, but both of my hands are on the wheel. I am using a device where I don't have to hold it or take my eyes off the road in order to record this video all right okay so um layover pay now please keep in mind that the information i'm giving you is from me and my personal driver code it's different for um different accounts different drivers uh you might get more or less if you're on a particular type of load or if you're on a if you're running dedicated for a particular type of account it is definitely uh, different pay but for mines all right layover pay you get 50 bucks for every 24 hours all right for stops the stops is one that, that that's in that ram that everything is different for different accounts so the minimum you would get for each stop that you make, cut off some AC, the minimum you would get for each stop that you make is 15 bucks. Like I said, I, uh, the count that I was on, I did two stops and got 60 bucks. So, so that particular count paid 30 bucks a stop. Um, I'm pretty sure that that was all worked in uh, when they set up the load with the planners or whatnot. But yeah, so this load that I'm on right now has two stops. So I'm about to make another 60 bucks including the thousand plus miles that it's taken me to get to these locations all right detention pay detention pay is four dollars for every 15 minutes after a two-hour wait so if you if you arrive to the uh receiver uh they have two hours to get you unloaded after that two hours you, you'll make four dollars for every 15 minutes uh, that you're there waiting. So what's that uh, for a that's the what 16 bucks an hour? Something like that for a two more wait 15 minutes 15 15 15 15. Yeah, this is how I do math. It's weird, right? So that's uh, about 16 bucks an hour. All right Breakdown. So if you broke down You will get $50 a day. So $50 for every 24 hours that you're you're broke you're broke down all right so um the loading and the unloading pay it all depends on the customer how much it will pay you know because you get uh i know back in the day like jb hunt you would get uh 25 dollars for unloading but then you would get 10 cents for no 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 no, no. i'll take that back it was mesa distributing when you was when you was doing when i was doing beer uh, when you unload this beer truck, it had the side loaders or whatever, you would get uh, ten cents for every case that you that you touched. So every case that was on that truck, you would get ten cents for. Uh, I think the JB Hunt, like the Family Dollar, you would get money for the stop, and then you would get money for unloading, and then I think you would get money for X amount of freight that you unloaded off of that truck. Um, unfortunately, I'm going through Montana, so the phone dropped, and that's all the information I can get at the time. All right. Now, here's the deal with the cameras. Guy on Facebook sent me the message. For some reason, I can't find his message. Like, he must have deleted it or something. But, um, uh, yes, I am readjusting my balls right now. <laughs> uh, yes. No, I don't smell my fingers as I touch my balls, so that my balls are clean. Yeah. Um, the cameras, the front face of the camera, yes, it does have a microphone. I didn't know that it had a microphone, but yes, it does have a microphone. Uh, but it all records on itself. Again, it all records on itself. So, uh, and it records 20 seconds, and then after the 20 first second it, it it re records on itself another 20 seconds or 
or 19 seconds left. However you want to do that math. Um, it just has microphones because it's an audio and video to see what happened for that critical event to be triggered. Uh, they are not live streaming the audio and video. Only when a critical event is triggered, from what I was told, they do an upload once a day uh, to the system after a critical event is triggered. I got my first real critical event yesterday, actually. Um, but if, if the cameras was in the truck, they would have seen that it wasn't a big deal. It was I was basically getting, I was dipping onto the on-ramp. Um, on-ramp was kind of tight because it was one of those ones where it had a gate on it. So if it snows, they close it saying you can't get on it. And it was kind of tight, so I took it a little bit too fast. Uh, what else, Swift? I took it a little bit too fast, and uh, it triggered a critical event. And that was my first one that I got since I've been with the company that I got. Um, I had there was a critical event on my truck. I had took it into maintenance to check the brakes. He did a hard braking and triggered a critical event. And uh, I didn't know what that was. You just see a red light blinking and a red explanation point on your uh, Qualcomm or whatever. When I hopped in, I looked at it, said critical event, and I went and told him he, that it was a critical event, and I stayed with that mechanic until we went and got this taken care of to get this taken off my record because uh, I I'm think that can affect the points that you have with the company as far as your reputation. Uh, let's say if you was a diamond driver, meaning you, you uh, got X amount of miles under your belt and... Um, you got all your loads on time you've been, and you did you've been basically a good driver for x amount of time you become a diamond driver which they get paid an extra percentage uh cents per mile plus some extra perks and i think your quarterly bonus is uh bigger like my quarterly bonus every three months i get like 995 dollars uh but it's a bonus check so it's probably tax 50 percent which is still fine because that's extra money you know so half of you know that is what 400 and something I don't know but uh, if I didn't get that taken care of that would have messed up my bonus so now I know when I need to get my brakes checked or something like that I need to log out of the Qualcomm completely so if, there, or if you do trigger a critical event um, it won't mess up my ranking and my stats as far as uh, my safe driving different things like that now here's another thing with the cameras she told me I asked her I said so let's say if you hit a pothole and it triggered a, a critical, critical event and you're there on your phone texting God forbid of course you know people do drive and text you know like say for instance right now I'm in Montana there's nobody on the road if I need to send a text message I'm just gonna say I wouldn't do it but you will see other drivers doing it. I think that's a good way to clear that one up, right? Um, you will basically get a warning because how they feel about it is if you were not texting, you would have noticed that pothole and you wouldn't have hit it. You would not have hit that pothole. So that's, uh, that's how they look at it. So after the second or third time that you trigger a critical event, and you um, you don't have your hands on the wheel, you're doing something like eating or something like that, then uh, you definitely can't get terminated for that. So if you are eating, you still need to be aware because every driver eats while they drive. You know, you got time limit, you need to go. You need to be going, 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 going. So um, you need to just be aware and, and if you can't avoid a trigger in a critical event, then definitely do it. If you're eating and driving or you're doing whatever you're doing behind the wheel and taking your eyes off the road. So, um, but if you, let's say if you, uh, like I was just readjusting my balls right now and for whatever reason, a, a critical event was triggered, but there was no, like if I did hit that pothole, and then they uploaded and saw it and they like, well, you know, he was just readjusting his testicles. 
uh, so they uh, properly lay on the seat and be secured by my underwear instead of you know being all uncomfortable and having ball skin under my leg. Us men know what I'm talking about. Y'all women might be like, yeah, well, whatever. That's why we readjust. So, um, so yeah, that's more information about the cameras that Swift are putting in the truck. And um, yeah, they do have microphones and you definitely can be fired if you trigger, if you trigger multiple critical events and you are distracted by, you know, holding your phone or food in your hand or something like that but if you're like you know you resting your hand on the gear shift like most of us do then no you won't be fired for that they won't even call you about that because in the video it shows they also have a thing a driver cam portal where if you do trigger a critical event and a cam records it you can go in yourself at a kiosk at one of the terminals or whatever and take a look at uh, what the camera saw when the critical event was triggered which is cool because then you can try to get your lie together <laughs> we'll see what had happened was you know uh one of my hairs on my balls got tangled uh in the cotton of my underwear and i needed to uh vigorously uh, 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 uh pull that on out so i can drive comfortably it's not safe to drive while you have a uh, painful pulling of the testicle uh, hair follicles. <laughs> All right. Well, that's some information. Um, there. So I'm gonna upload this video uh, when I stop. Of course, I don't. I would never uh, upload a video while I'm driving. I mean, that's just absolutely unsafe. Uh, and per federal rules, you're not supposed to have your phone in your hand. You you can use handheld. Per Swift rules, uh, you're supposed to have. You're not supposed to have your phone in your hand. You're supposed to use a uh, wireless connection or whatnot to, uh, or whatever it is you use. Like me, I, I'm using an earphone um, because I, that way I can keep both hands on the wheel, keep my eyes focused on the road. Uh, even though it might look like I'm looking at y'all, uh, I'm keeping my eyes focused on the road. <laughs> yeah. So right now, if I scratch my chin and get a critical event, they're like, oh, that's no big deal. They'll just delete it and go on about their way. All right. This is your boy, the right brother, a.k.a. Big Country. Eyes tied. Eyes tied. All right. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Okay, Google, stop device. <laughs> See if that'll work. You know, because you know I got to push the button on the device right here. Uh, uh.